the one guarantee in life is that things are going to change. We're in this really magnificent, unstoppable place right now in human history, and we should really just en enjoy it. I'm spending a lot of time thinking about time. What is time? What's the physically tangible evidence of its existence? And so this, this room is just an ex experience of all of these different items, different living things, ghosts, parts of dead animals, this ephemeral energy forming into one cohesive spot and being expanded infinitely. Physically, it took me about 10 years of glass blowing before I could make this animal. And to make an animal this size and this scale and then bring it into the sculpture and intentionally break it is like one of the most liberating experiences possible. Now it can live as like the centerpiece of the crown jewel of, I don't think this animal could ask for anything more. Everything here is how you interpret it, how you, the viewer sees it. One of the great things about glass is that it's not porous, you know, things don't stick to it. But when you're trying to get this liquid silver to stick to the inside of the glass, it's very, very tricky. And it has to be meticulously sterilized. And there's this very tiny window where this reaction happens and they'll stick to the glass. The title of the piece is Cheerfully Rooting Through Ruby Red Detrius. The box is made out of two-way mirror lit from below, colored entirely from these little bits of red crystal, which just give it like, I mean, just imagining this intense atmosphere. I wanted to create an object where humans could see it, immediately identify with it as a mammal. It has many of the proportions, um, oversized feet. And so there's this immediate instinctual ability to connect and emphasize with this object. Water and glass have a lot of very similar optical properties. It's an idea I've wanted to do for a long time, you know, combining these basic elements of life, water, the fire from the glass, the earth, and I imagine it sort of as if these ghost-like animal spirits are just coming out of a waterfall or coming through a cloud of mist or some sort of ephemeral being in a very placid situation. All of these objects are a representation of time and energy and the idea of animals, dying animals, regenerating, sort of taking the nutrients, taking the lifestyle, life cycle, compressing it, bringing it together, creating something new, overwhelming sensory experience that the viewer hopefully gets a moment of clarity from. Thank you.